Hi everybody, it's DC here. Uh, it's the 19th of December 2020 and under the heading, everything is a magnet. So, whereas Tesla said everything's light, all that I'm saying is everything's a magnet. So, what we've got here on the whiteboard, schematics, we've got a bar magnet here and uh, there's a cross here which represents the dielectric and the magnetic. So we've got the north here and the south there of a bar magnet. And coming out of the uh, bar magnet at the north end, we've got magnetism, which comes out towards the periphery of the magnet, but not in the centre of the magnet. So that the magnetism force goes round and back and round and back. So it does this sort of circulation and the south pole is the same this goes out round and back and in the middle we've got the block blotch wall so the north field and the south field are two separate entities so what i'm focused on now is the, the blotch wall right at the center between the magnetic and the dielectric um, what my take on things is now is this, if this is the bar magnet again here we've 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 got the ether which is the dielectric coming in at the north pole and also coming in at the south pole and then i think the ether circulates round and comes comes it either flies out from the middle <laughs> like a spiral or it flies in it may be both. <laughs> I'm not sure on that. More study is wanted there. So if we look at the bar magnet again in detail, we've got the dielectric ether return coming in and then flowing out. And we've got the same at the North Pole. It's the dielectric flowing in and then flowing out. Or the other way around. So this is my take so far. So if we have a look... Again, at the bar magnet with the north and the south. <clears throat> where the, there's an interaction between the two pressure uh, forces. And you've got um, a balance of forces. And it's sort of like a standoff. You've got the dielectric coming in in the centre and the magnetic coming out here. So there's a sort of a standoff there with the block blotch wall here. This is very, very interesting for me. Because this, this is going to develop my next little project here. So if we just look at atoms in the ether, which can be any atoms in the ether, in, in solids, in gases, um, <clears throat> to me, all atoms are magnets. And the magnets are interchanging all the time with themselves in a, a balance. Let's call it electrons. Let's just say that the potential exchange is going on all the time. <clears throat> so, this is where I'm at at the moment. Um, this all started with a, a little spark. I saw a little spark where there shouldn't be a little spark. And it's, it's led me to this point. And I, it's very interesting where, where I'm up to now. Because I'm focusing on the centre point. The zero point. The zero point of magnetism the zero point of the dielectric which has caught my attention um that's about it now um i've got christmas coming and then after christmas i'm going to focus on something so it might be towards the end of february before i do my next video it depends on how it goes um but before i go um my setup here again i think most people are familiar with this now um I've got a car transformer. It's a spark, spark transformer for a car. I've got 14 volts power supply, which um, I'm not using this machine here, the uh, contact breaker now. I'm just, all I'm going to do is just power it up by just flashing this here. You can see the flash come off that. So what I'm doing now is producing 30,000 volts in front of these microwave magnets here. 
and there's a flash. Now Nikola Tesla says that this, in, in the ether, was a, like a happening, if you like, or a, a, an event. So what, what I'm trying to get round my head here is that this event is like a shock wave, like a pressure wave. But it's just a, it's like, it's like I don't know, it's like a, like a mini bomb going off. But all you see in there is that it's like the magnets are rushing past one another to equal out in the ether. But it's like it's got like a shock wave with it. So the, the magnetic shock wave goes out, and I'm not sure about what happens to the dielectric, but that must go out as well, so they both must go out. Um, and what I've done here, I've connected this meter up here. And it's just connected to here, which is these all these coils come down to one point here. And then this wire that comes in on the floor is an earth wire. So the two probes are connected up here and here, one to the earth and one to the, the point on the coil. Well, I've got, as you can imagine, I've got a steady um, voltage and it's about 1.2 volts. Now, all I'm going to do now is, you won't perhaps be able to see me this because I'll be focused on the on the reading, but I'm just going to touch this, touch this contact here. And it sparks a little bit here, obviously, but it sparks here as well. So all you're seeing here is a spark in the ether affecting this. So what we've got is pressure mediation going on here. Okay, I'm going to, so we've got a steady reading here now, and I'm going to, touch it and you'll see it jump up. Can you see it jump up? Now, what do you think is going on there? With just a tiny, tiny spark of 30,000 volts here. Okay, it's you could say it's like a, a mini transmitter, which it is in a way, yeah. But I think there's more going on here because this is a, this is a, this is a magnet here. So we, we've got like a donut shape of the magnetic field here and I think when that spark's going there it's the, the, it's been amplified through the circuit and this is leading me to my next uh, quest or experiment relating to zero point so that's where I'm at folks zero point where the magnetic and the dielectric come together in the in relation to the block blotch wall <sighs> fascinating stuff I can't put it down <laughs> but there you go that's me so thank you very much for watching my channel and uh, in the new year I will be definitely having something that I'm going to make to try it out um, to produce real potential thank you very much DC signing out and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year